Okay, well, I guess we're not using Iveo then. We're going to start all over. Ah, so. Yellow pen. Yellow pen. Then. No, I don't want to close it. I want to. Yes. So let's see, we have the chocks and the GPU. Uh, let's load the, no, not the passengers yet. Don't want them to get cold, so let's start up an engine. Batteries, inverters. Uh, let's have a quick uh, rundown of everything. <coughs> So we got bitstream in primary, steel lock engaged, trim. Huh, I thought they defaulted it to six. Ah, no, that's when you spawn on the runway, right. So let me put that on six. Do quantity. Reset that, jet pumps on, standby pumps off, fuel jettison on, crossflow closed, cross feed is closed. Are these open? No, closed, okay, that's good. Then we need some uh, navigation lights, start an engine, so beacon lights, uh, we're gonna fly 41,000 feet, should make a zoom view for that. 41,000 is set, automatic. And let's come up here. Let's try this test. Either scan and out. Mac. I thought yeah, that did something with the uh, trim. Ah, okay, to be checked. I oh, know this is. Wait, Mac and Mac trim is one. Ah. A fire detection, does that work? Stall. This is fire still. Oh no. Yeah, this is stall. The trim monitor is stall as well. Okay, so I guess it's not completely fixed yet. What else? Spoiler on reset. Why not? No smoking, fasten seat belt. Uh, do we have hydraulic power a little bit? Where was it again? Here. No, nothing. Switch on the pump. Ah, but okay, it's not holding it. Snow accumulator. So, uh, fuel computers are on, air ignition. Uh, sorry, that's off. Emergency battery should be on. This is all okay. This is slaved. That's the reverses, but again, I'm not going to be using them. I don't know how to <laughs> to be checked. So I'll put this a little bit over cold, and we'll start an engine then. Right side, away from the door. Oops, other side. Ah yeah, the sound is much clearer now. Does it say, oh, something's wrong with the uh, overlay. Oops, engage fuel. Okay. So the bleed is on and I'll switch on the cabin air. Let's heat this cabin up. So, let me just quickly check my overlay. I must have closed it instead of minimized. So we're going from Echo Bravo Kilo Tango, home base to Lima Juliet Sierra Golf, which is Slovenia Gradic, all sign is November 39, Lima Echo. Uh, let's put that in there, is it? Yeah, it's up now, okay, good. And then avionics. Avionics, avionics, were this one. 
video out autopilot power and stall warning power as well. Continue, continue. Oh, I did check the fuel. <laughs> should do that before you start the engine. Uh, I'll let them get uh, the APU out of here. Oh, it just didn't start. Ah, yeah, that's manual, don't forget that. Okay, let's say we fueled already. Um, just gonna go. Um, TAS, system test okay. Full wing and full tip. It's only one hour half flying, so. And we set eight on board. One, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and all the luggage. So everybody's on board now. We can close the cabin door. We'll give them the table. Ah, Shades is here now, on and off. Okay, that's good. Uh, what else? I'll just skip to before taxi. Uh, procedure. Departure. It's the... I'll take 2-4. Load departure. Then from Muckle. We had the... Lima 607 uh, Wait, what did I just click? Oh yeah, that was correct. Go lick. Go lick. Oh. That from Go lick, it's another Yankee 50 to Ferdi. And that from Ferdi. Uh, from Lima 602 to Aramba and the rest will do in flight just to expedite things transponder well it's November 93 Lima Echo enter Walker general for uh, IFR can you actually oh no there no okay Walk on already. Message. Okay, that's fine. So, uh, that's it. Let's start the left engine then. Does that work? With the. Oh, this is the generator. This is the starter. Excuse me. And two rotation and one rotation. Oil pressure. Ignition. Yep. When we're looking for 50 and 2, disconnect the starter this time. Gen on. Good, good, good. And bleed on. Uh, ah, yeah, I still didn't look up how to change the altimeter. So avionics are set, radar standby, circuit breakers in, coffee as desired. Okay, fuel control governor, I don't know what that is. Good speed, good shield heat. Let's put it on hold. Light on as required, anti skid on. Uh, is there an anti skid light? The anti skid is here. The light, I don't know. We have steering on. Oh, I should test the autopilot as well. What? Two seconds. No? Okay. Ah, wait. Was it right click? Oh, yeah. Bitch. Okay, I think that was a good test. 
and level off again. Okay. Sorry, what was I? Lights on, not skid on, flex briefing, no smoking sign. Parking brake released. Okay, taxi on before takeoff, brakes and steering is checked dead next. Okay, parking brake was this one? Yes. <clears throat> Let's pretend that GPU is not there. Clear. So instruments, the horizon stable, compass tracking, all is opposite. Checked. Uh, brakes. Checked. Fuel panel checked and balance. Stress reversers checked and stowed. Flight controls. We have correct take of data. I don't have engine instruments. Are all in the green. Both the ammeters. Uh, amps is charging. Volts are good. AC volts is in the green. It's checked. It's nav, it's nav equipment is set. GPS nav is on. The departure is loaded. Uh, oh yeah, maybe I should put my alt selector. Correctly, no ATC, no climb restrictions, so 41,000 is set, have equipment set, radar, uh, does it work again? No, nope. still didn't fix it I guess, with the Windows Defender, uh, so spoilers retracted, yeah, see lights on now, retracted. Laps 8, that should be enough. Rims, uh, let me recheck that. Should be Alt 3. Yeah, neutral and 6 is set. Pressurization is set, cabin air is on, cabin temperature controls are set. ATI systems, over in the runway now. Air ignition, gonna go on. And heat or heat can go on. And I see there's some cloud, but ah, it shouldn't be much icing. The right was clear, lining up. Lining lights on, recognition lights on. Okay. Oops. Okay, line up, bug and make release, transponder, altitude reporting, first reverses, now I'll leave them unarmed, Peter heat is on, lights on, stop running on, ignition on, and let's see the panel normal, and then it's the after takeoff checklist, alright. Back to Alt 1. Okay, let's see. 60 and 1 on the brakes. And here we go, I'll try to fly some control wheel steering and uh, fly the departure manually initially. Let's see how it goes. Brakes released. They're just above the detents. Just have to watch the turbine temperature. Airspeed alive. 100 knots. Back pressure. Brakes. Gear up. 
it is good for lap retraction. Engage the autopilot here. So let's see if laps are up and gear is up. Uh, what does my let's see if the control is steering button works? It's gonna go down a bit. Release and uh, I can engage nav mode now. Let's see roll is on nav. Alright, looking good. Accelerate slowly. Let's see what's if I pitch down now and release it again. And it goes back into nav and it holds the pitch. Yeah, now it's working great. Wow, look at this. It's so smooth. All the way, all the way to the mountains, guys. So let's go. Still not going to 250, so uh, some more pitch down. Track zero to zero. Already ten thousand feet. I want to accelerate. Okay, let's go a bit lower. About five degrees pitch and release. There we go. Two thirty, approaching uh, ten thousand feet, and I should already be on standard. Five thousand feet. Four thousand five hundred feet. Belgium. Two nine nine two set. And it's already past two fifty. Right, that's good. Uh, let's see if I can hold a two fifty climb now. Uh, speed mode indicated airspeed. Oh, I'm pushing down so much. Should go back. Let's see how it performs. Uh, climb check is 10,000 feet, no swapping fast seatbelt, so I'll just keep it on, pressurization. Okay, I'm to do this good, climbing at 500 feet, checked, altimeter set to 992, recognition light off. Air conditioner off if applicable, uh, no it's not on, I think oxygen pressure. I have to check it again, where was that? I can't remember now. I'll look for it later. Emergency pressurization switch is normal. Okay, anyway. Port stuff is done. Ah, yeah, it's back up to 50 now. Okay, holding nicely. Turbine temp is just off the orange. That's good. of the ignition. There's some cloud coming up, wing and stab, heat on, muscle heat on. But there's icing, it's not going to be a lot of uh, flight plan. So let's continue that. Another decline. Remba. Oops. What happened there with my mouse? Remba. Load airway. Six to four redux. And then it's just a bunch of directs. Load. 
So, bittes Babek Kümum. Bittes Babek. Still good. Just zoom in. Kumum. Dipsa. That's the last one anyway. Dipsa. Enter. And then we have a Sierra. No, even Juliet. Here I go. Oh, makes sense. <laughs> All right. Didn't put on the yard damper yet. Oh, that's wait, that's a primer. An engine sink as well. Well, I'll just put the power on. I don't know. This has power, which is on. But is it engaged the the yard damper? I'm not sure. I do see the path. Ah, it looks a bit blurry, no? She's alive. Is that just because of the low sun? Maybe. Ah, the textures. Is the skin? Nah. It's a bit exaggerated, you know? Let's get that city. Voila, we're well on our way. Right, we're at the clouds. I like the how reachable the butts are. You wanna fly and just zoom in a bit. And just zoom out to operate the butt. So NASA heat on, stab and make heat off. I mean off, not on. Pressurization sold up. Could have like a I guess a reference view are in here. Actually, in here, like uh, Brussels or something. This thing is something. Okay, the yeah, is going down. Or, I just don't know that, but no, it's not the intake. But, uh, no, it's measured actually. Turbine temp. I guess it's the burn chamber. It's quite hot. 850. Woo. Yeah. That's orange lighted baby. Yeah, I'm curious to see if the mock hold works now as well. I'll just wait till Mac uh, point seven there. The two Mac to go.
there's a big difference between the left and the right engine, but the fan is synced, it seems. EGT is different, so all engines are a little bit different. The hotter the temperature, the more the older the engine is. So the right one is the new one. Okay, I'm full throttle now. Uh, Mach 0.7. Uh, let's click the right. Mach holes. See what that does. That doesn't do anything, does it? Nope. So Mach hole still doesn't work. All right. Let's go with yes then. And. Sensitive. I can fly like this and then use the button here to trim while you're in PS mode. I'll just have to trim beat with the pitch. Anyway, we got uh, 7,000 feet to go. Shouldn't take too long. I'm losing a bit of too much instrument here. Yeah, to be honest, I wasn't buying my screen, so that's why. <laughs> Slowly. That's process here. Yeah, just behind us. That's too cloudy. So what's our target speeds? Uh, let's say 
7677. I did put on all cellular up today. I'll have to link that with the, the vertical mode or something so I don't forget in my mind that I need. Stuck there for a minute, that's dangerous. That was me to level off. And uh, that's the pressurization. Yeah, that's there, almost full diff. 6,000 feet at 410, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. That's it. And where am I now? Liege, next to my workplace. Place of work. And the fuselage doesn't look that great now, does it? Hmm. Like the PBR is low resolution or something. I wonder if it's the paint chart. Must be. I'll try out some other paints schemes from other authors. Can't remember it being oops. Oh easy autopilot. Wow, that's a rough level of there. Uh, so what did I say last time? Forty one thousand should be around six hundred fifty. I mean six thousand five hundred. That. So I'll let it rest here and then see where it takes me. I wish I had a whole pass without a detent. So we reached 410 at Sprimont with uh, eight people on board and full wing, full tip. Uh, is this one the same as... Ah oh yeah, here we go, 19 minutes. Not bad. So it looks like it's holding up around 7.5. Yeah, keep it. Well, keep it. And Ritax is already the Belgian border. We just flew, flew basically through Belgium. <laughs> and it's the longest length in 19 minutes. Yeah. I live in a small country. Okay guys, so I'm gonna do some housework and... Um, Check every once in a while that I'm not flying into any mountains or anything. <laughs> See, I'll check back in in about 20 minutes.
you view as a teenager. I, I, I remember one casting director who later became a producer. Um, I was in the middle of doing a reading for her, and she stopped me and she said, "Listen, you are not pretty enough to be an actress. You have to find something else that you want to do." question.
you as a teenager. I, I, I remember one casting director who later became a producer. Um, I was in the middle of doing a reading for her, and she stopped me and she said, "Listen, you are not pretty enough to be an actress. You have to find something else that you want to do."
All right, all right, a quick check-in. Where are we now? Didn't want to interrupt that song. I love that. That was uh, DJ Houseplants trying to hold on. <laughs> Just for your info. Uh, I like this some low file while doing low file while doing some housework and flying. So uh, let's see. Actually, uh, let me put Microsoft Flats and down a little bit more again. It is quite loud. Um, so yeah, I put Frankfurt VR in here before, and we passed that. That is now 45 degrees behind us. Wait. Ah, here we go. And we're just coming up on uh, Stuttgart, as you can see on the GPS. And we are about halfway to our destination. Next coming up will be Munich on the left side and Salzburg in uh, Austria. That's where we're about, where we will start our descent down the 10,000 feet over the mountains and uh, go over to VFR flight. Yeah, that should be fun. Let's have a look here at the fuel. I guess and even the tip, tip tanks are not empty yet. No, the tip is uh, just halfway even. We still can fly 1,200 nautical miles, more or less. Easy peasy. And the uh, speed is holding, yeah, exactly at 0 0.76 in the detent. So that's good, 6,000 pounds per minute uh, per minute per hour <laughs> uh, <laughs> that'll be short per minute um, pressurization still holding up good stuff good stuff Let's see if I could find the relevant uh, VOR here let's take Salzburg Click it here, click the frequency, you can go active or standby, flip it. Uh, that's all. Okay, all good. I'll continue my work and uh, let you enjoy some more low fire. And check back in when it's close to the top of descent then.
All right, all right, all right. I think it's about time to land. I like that one as well. That was Paluma Sound, make believe. So, let's see. Oh, I just. Yeah, we have the Alps in front of us. We're just passing Salzburg on the left somewhere. That should be it. Yeah, there's the airport. And, like I said before, I think I was looking up the uh, sector altitudes here. It's not too bad. Um, <laughs> I'm looking now and I can't find it, obviously. Where did I see that? I saw 9 or 5. Why can I not see it now? Oh, here they are. Oh, I see. It's not written on the Austrian map. Only on the Slovenian. Okay. So, anyway, over Dipsa, it's 9,500 feet, so 10,000 is going to be my uh, target. And then over the destination, the grid Mora, actually, I should say, is 7,500 feet. And the Slovenia Gradec Airport is at an altitude of, let's see, information. No, it's written here, 1,600 feet plus 1,500 for circuit. Uh, let's, let's just call it an even 3,000 feet. So initially we'll descend to 10,000, then 8,000. So overhead the airfield. And I had the idea to do a military style from overhead straight on to downwind to get the airport off 45 degrees behind me at about 1,500 feet. Let's see how that works out. You can always use the slats to slow down. <coughs> and yeah, I'll be landing without reverse again. So let's hide this for a second. What do we got? Uh, so the next one is Dipsa already. And that's going to be in 106 miles. And I need to descend about 31,000 feet, times 3 is 100, so yeah. Um, let's see if I can get this in the pools here quickly. We got utilities, the VNAV, and uh, there is no constraint, but can I do it manually? No. What if I do it like this? Dipsa, oops, back 10,000 feet. And Gratic. Vertical track. Yes, so I need to descend. Gotcha. And the overhead was 7,500 feet. Enter, save. So she said vertical track. Yeah, okay, it's approaching. Um, menu, sorry, no, home, utilities. <laughs> My cat wants to sit on my lap now. You know, it's not the time now. It's not the time now. Ow! You're gonna bite? Well, then, get the fuck off of me. Um, oh, swear, right? Utilities, uh, VNAV. I was always looking at this, the wrong thing, the set required. Yeah, it's uh, 2,300 feet per minute now. So I'll go alt hold off and uh, reduce the power and can I manually? No, it seems like I cannot, I use, oh was I pressing the wrong button? Yes, I was pressing the wrong button. I said nothing, so try to do it slowly. Let's go 2400, release. Ah, yeah, see, works nicely. Then try to keep it around Mach 75, let me zoom in a bit. 
So the weather is checked. Yeah, it looks kind of okay indeed. Note then, we called the airport beforehand and there were no note tents. <clears throat> Let's say fuel. Oh, well, we got plenty. Uh, our alternate is. Oh, yeah. So I got still full wing tanks. Still a thousand miles range. Easy. The alternate is uh, Ljubljana. Uh, if we go there from uh, overhead the airfield, that's yeah about southwest. All right. Um, then by one, yeah. And we have plenty of fuel for that. Let's see. Weather and Miltons, fuel, then the routing, like I said, straight ahead, now inbound to uh, Dipsa. Which is on the border with Slovenia, then continue the descent to 8,000 or 7,500 feet over Lima, Juliet Sierra Golf, Gradec, right? And then the wind is calm, so let's see, the sun is in the south, and we have 1-4 and 3-2, so it's easier to land on 3-2, I'll just go, oh, let's see, there's some high terrain here in the, in the south of the fields, seems like this is a better approach to make. Let's see, let's do a right hand downwind for one four and come back to lands. That sounds like a plan, so can I get this in here? Procedure approach on the a visual for one four. Threshold plus fifty. Okay, yeah, let's see. Uh whoops. Oh yeah. Yeah, this doesn't matter. I'm not communicating anyway. Um yeah. So then I want to be. Let's say I'm coming over at 8,000 feet here. I'll do a steep descent to the right, flying on downwind. Then I want to be on an extended right hand downwind at uh, 3,000 feet. Turn inbound and hopefully land smoothly. Uh, as for the layout of the airport, I have no idea. Um, probably if I can zoom in enough. Yeah, I just see the airport. Anyway, we'll see. We'll see what it is. Um, no idea. It's a discovery. I should descend a bit faster, maybe. Uh, let me check my PNAV here. Oh no, it's okay. One two thousand one hundred feet. That's good. Uh, now I'll try to keep 250 feet, well actually, uh, not so I mean, that's oh, okay, I can let it climb a bit. You want to be fast, right? It's a Learjet. So yeah, then, um, let me check here on four flights, if I have some kind of a airport overview, 3D, uh, no, info, not really. I have the AIP here. Anything useful there? It's a 1,200 meter length runway. Displaced threshold on 1.4. Okay. Good to know. Load landing distance available is 1,100 meters. That's a 100 meter displaced threshold. But uh, there's no... Ah, yes. The aprons are on the east side. Okay, so we'll see. Oh, and I see now that the circus is on the left-hand side, so a revision of that uh, briefing there. Left-hand circuit over the city. The city is to the north. The okay, left-hand circuit, 3,000 feet on diamonds. All right. I think I'm starting to see the valley. Where it is, if I could see here somewhere, I'd be wrong. Or 
was behind that mountain ridge. Ah, let's see. It's still a still a while actually. It could be a bit further down there. Still some snow here on the Alps. But uh, yeah, beautiful weather, no anti-icing needed. What are the main threats? Well, the flight pattern, obviously. I'll try to fly it in uh, control wheel steering, I quite like it. And then, uh, yeah, I don't have a local q and Normally the guy, of course, gives it to you. The closest one is, airport is, Maribor. Oh, that's renamed now. Orehova Vas. Okay. Let's see. The weather in Maribor. Variable 1 knot, cap of K, 3 degrees, 1037. Okay. Interesting. 1037. Roger. It's like it's automatically keeping the 3 degree. Maribor have a VR? No, but it does have an NDB. Wow. Okay. What's that? 355. Let's see. Can, can I get that set? Because it seems a bit tricky. 3. Five, five. Okay, and then this one on ADP, and it doesn't work. Hmm. Or it's the mountains that are blocking the signal. I like the heat blur, but at these speeds, it's still very slow. It's uh, basically an animation for our idling speed. I wonder how flight sim determines where to keep the snow and where to remove it. If there's a snowy thatch, that there's no snow, that's snow again, or maybe it's elevation. The elevation, maybe. But then here on the mountains, there's no snow though. Anyway, it makes it look quite realistic. Ah, it's a big road here. Which one is that? I probably drove that road already. What's Croatia? And we're supposed to pass uh, Klagenfurt. We are still over Austria, by the way. Klagenfurt is here on the right. Is it? Yeah, there should be an airport there. I don't see it. Where's the airport? Or oh, it's further away. Okay, yeah, yeah. I thought it was a bigger town. This is Klagenfurt. And that's clearly the runway. Okay. Then Ljubljana is just behind these mountains. Or in between even. Somewhere. I remember the approach uh, in real life is quite fun. Ljubljana in the morning. But the sunrise is beautiful. 
Are we gonna make it? 10,000 feet dip, sir? Do I have a banana? No, no banana on this thing. Uh, let's try to find out how to adjust the altimeter in the meantime. Somewhere, Let's see. press it. One, two, three. No. One, two, three. No. Right mouse. Two, three, four. No. Just do anything. Hmm. So I'll just use the B function. Okay, so this must be the steep valley and the town in there somewhere. Got to do something. Yeah, that's what check that stuff for, right? We need to put this altitude on 1,500. Well, let's hope it'll catch up. Sorry, passengers. So now would be the time to cancel IFR. With the Vienna radar, November 9, really my echo. Let's cheat a bit. Airfield in sight and uh, try to cancel IFR at this point. And then he'll say, oh, if I cancel at this and this time, contact to Brianna information, this and that. Okay, we get close now. Visual, no problem with terrain. Continue down to 7,500 feet. And how much is 1037 in inches? 1037. Um, no, inch to HPA. No, HPA to inch, sorry. Three zero six two. Better set that already. That will put me a lot higher. Three zero six two. There we go. And for the copy, not really that important. But three zero six two. Switch off the radio altimeter. Flag here. Glycoscope flag. So that's normal. Maybe I'll just slow down a bit. Uh, put the recognition lights on. What's he doing? Okay. Bit of an overcorrection there. It should be right below me. Oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah, I see. Okay, so come overhead, left turn, and we come in like that. Okay, looks good. 
and artifacts. I'll put navigation off as well. So now I'm flying full. Um, control wheel steering, let's call it. So 3,000 feet. I'll switch off the GPS nav. Or what happens when I activate approach? Oh yeah, that's nice. Yeah, and then I get a uh, CDI and everything. Wow. Okay. So every time you hear this sound, I'm basically manipulating the control wheel steer. Go down a bit faster. Just put the wing leveler on, maybe. Yeah, so if I let go, then it levels the wings. That's nice. Agradish traffic, November 93 Lima Echo, Learjet's coming overhead at uh, 7,000 feet to join left hand down runway 14. Let me just line up the heading here. Nice, 4,000 feet to level off. That's two minutes. So altimeters are set. Field elevation is now set on the cabin controller. The ignition lights are on. Anti ice is not required. Apps to come. Oh, yeah. Okay, there's a hangar where I can park. Good. And there's a turning pad. Good stuff. So now the problem is, I cannot hold the button and uh, use my slats at the same time. I need an extra finger for that. <laughs> Anyway, I'll try to fly manually. Can I trim while holding the button? Yeah, that does work. Okay, cross the runway axis. Making a steep turn here. Flying to the mount. <laughs> it's never a good thing, is it? Pushing 200 knots. Let's uh, slow down the descent a little bit. Okay, that's done. Terrain ahead. Copy. Let's go flaps one. Yeah, there's a runway. Oh, I'm quite far actually. And there's the town. Okay, let me uh, push off the autopilot. Eight thousand feet, it's checked. So still well, a little bit high, I would say. But anyway, uh, here down. Flaps two. Oh, that's fine. We can turn on to final. I'll get too low, so 1,000 feet is 2,500. That speed really decreasing, huh? 150, 140 is fine. Clip up a bit here. Okay, base, budget traffic, number 93, Lima Echo, base, runway 14.
1,500 feet to level off. It start turning. I'll go full flaps. That looks like I need to turn a bit faster. Yeah, okay. Easy, easy. Oops. Yeah, okay, that could have been better, but... 500 miles, full flaps, 500 feet is checked, almost stabilized. <clears throat> Where's my landing view when I need it? 120 knots. Okay, I'll just make a little turn here. I forgot to switch off the yaw damper. Alright, that's okay, that's okay, it's acceptable. This is a private operation, right? I have some braking. Oh yeah, don't forget my splats here. I, I need spoilers. Wow, why am I full left rudder? Is that the yaw damper? Ah, no. I know already. It's the uh, steering. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Special feature on this plane. Don't forget your steering when you touch down. Well, you might be panicking soon. Okay. Yeah, see, steer on when I press this button. I thought I had a button to keep it on as well, but it doesn't seem to be working. Let's turn around here. Gardex traffic, number 93 Lima Echo, backtrack from me, 14. Let's see, is it. Uh, this is. It? No. Which button did I set it to? So, flaps up. Heater heats off. Of course, this should be off already. Your damper. All the pilot power can also go off. All the heat is off. It shield heats off. Ignition is off. Flaps are up. Cabin is still descending a little bit. We will vacate to the right here. Taxi light on. It also seems to have fixed the uh, instrument reflections. It's better now. It used to be always milky because it was reflecting the sky too much. I don't know. I have to put my shadow resolution a bit higher. I think my PC can take it. Am I already? Yep. Let's try and turn around. Cheat a little bit. Is that good? Yeah, good enough. Um, what do I want? Parking brake. Does it hold? It does hold. So I had a bit of a problem with that before as well. Alright, so one engine shut down. Taxi light off. Left gen off. Recognition strobe lights off. Let's say we don't have a GPU, so I'll just shut everything down. Uh, this one is on ground already, okay, so avionics off. Um, gen off. Let's put the other one off. Uh, 
beacon lights. And the passengers just want to get to their lodge, right? Co-pilot's jumping out because he wants to help. Cabin door open. And you are free to go, gents. Co-pilot will put the chocks on. Table stowed. No, I can leave the nav lights on. Be there off. Cabin air off. And battery off. Inverters. Voila! And that's it, Fox. We're here. Beautiful Slovenia. Look at that. Ah, oh, you see, there's the lodge. Yeah, that's where they're going. <laughs> nice. Looks like summer, actually. I should get Accu season, maybe. So this, this could as well be 35 degrees Celsius centigrade. <laughs> anyway, come on. Get out of my plane, you. No, get out of your plane, I guess. There they go. So in the end, how much fuel did we use? Oh, but it's gone. Um, we used 80% of the tip tanks for an hour flight. Uh, that's, that's not bad. And how much fuel is that? 1,000? You can't read it. Yeah, 1,043. All right. <clears throat> What's making noise here? What's that, the emergency battery? Still hear it. Ah, there you go. Some gyro, I guess, on the emergency battery. Now it's... Perfectly quiet. It should be. Let's put the yolks back. Make it complete. All right. Well, that was nice. Yeah. Now it's time to uh, back everything up. Let's put the engine and the pito covers. And close the shades. Let's see. Wait. Shades on. What shades? Let's recycle it. Off. Yeah, okay. All the shades closed now. We leave it like that. What if it snows? Yeah, let's put the front cover on as well. There we go. Show passengers. Well, there are no passengers, but. Yeah, now she's all covered up. And. Uh, Captain can go. Close the door. On your way out. Hop. Get, don't forget your tablet. There we go. All settled. Well, that was beautiful. So a little bit of a debrief on the approach here. I came up quite close uh, to the airport overhead. And... I guess I should slow down even more, maybe to 160 or something, and then uh, made a left turn onto down it, keep it a bit tighter. And obviously one turn straight to final would have worked better. I shouldn't have stopped from base. Then I overshot way too far. Anyway, still was a safe landing. And uh, yeah, here we are. Okay, now I'm gonna do some other stuff. If anybody watched, thanks for watching. And otherwise, I learned quite a few things. And uh, yeah, on to the next flight. Hopefully something sporty again. Cheers, guys. See you on the next video.